Problem number 11. Write code that will print the following grid of numbers. Part of the trick in being able to learn how to do these is to figure out how to pull apart these problems into the different loops. And if you take a look, you've got one triangle right here of spaces that are being printed out. Then you've got another triangle right here of numbers that are being printed out and yet another triangle going right here. And you've got your overall loop that controls the rows. I know that I've got a loop for rows, I've got a loop for this triangle, and a loop for this triangle, and a loop for this triangle. So I'm going to have one loop, for loop right here, and then I have another for loop for triangle one, another for loop for triangle two, and another for loop for triangle number three. And this will go from basically, looks like about eight spaces, right? So it's going to basically go from 8 here down to 0. This is going to go from 0 numbers up to 8. And this is going to go from 1 numbers up to 9. By being able to pull this part, I can get an idea of what I want to do in order to create my loop. I'm going to start with loop number 2, add on loop number 3, and then finally pad it with spaces for loop number 1 as I sit here and code this. So let's go ahead and do that. First off, I need a loop to control the number of rows for, I'm going to call it row, in range. And I've got rows going from 1 up to, but not including 10. Now I want to print out that first grid of numbers for i in range. And I want to go from I'm going to start at basically 0 and go up to 8. So I'm going to start at 1 and go up to our row count. First time through, row is going to be 1, 1 to 1. It's not actually going to print out anything at all. And then row will be 2. And then I'm going to print out i and then do my little end bit. And print a blank line. Now if I run this, whoops, I need an extra space in there, don't I? If I run this, I've got down here my grid of numbers that correspond to that triangle number two I labeled earlier, but I don't have the extra spacing that's involved. This one should be over here, and then it should be one, two. I'll worry about the spaces later. But the next thing I need to do is to come up with that second grid of numbers. Note that that grid of numbers starts at 1 and then counts down. Rather than counting up 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, I'm going 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 4, 3, 2, 1. It's a bit of a different loop. And it happens after this loop. For i in range, I want to start at the row number. I want to go down to, but not including, 0. And I want to step by negative 1. And then I can print i, comma, end. I'm sure you're just screaming with irritation and that I forgot the colon right here. Now if I run it, I can see down here I have 1, 1, 2, 1. 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. I've got all the numbers that I need for my triangle. It looks very strange because I don't have that spacing that's padding to begin with that you can see right here, that extra space that goes on. Let's go ahead and do that. I need to print a certain number of spaces. I'm going to do 10 minus the row. To begin with, row is going to be 1, so I'll print 9 spaces. Yeah, I think 9 will work out about right. And then, if not, I can adjust it here in a bit. And I'll print that extra space to make up for the number. Hey, there we go. This prints this grid of 
spaces. This loop prints this grid, or triangle, rather than grid really, of numbers. This prints this triangle of numbers. And this outside loop basically controls all the different rows that I've got going on. And there we go.